glories, catastrophes, and even greater glories. That's the story of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Today, we are going to prepare ourselves the first day of our preparation for the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Welcome, Our Lady of Mount Carmel. In this year, 2022, we need to remember that this devotion has a lot to do with us. In 1917, when Our Lady appeared in Fatima, in a certain moment during her apparitions, to that multitude of people before her, she showed herself under different invocations, which are linked to the Rosary. At each mystery of the Rosary, she appeared according to a certain invocation, which is common, which is known to the people who were assisting her and which is linked to one of the mysteries of the Rosaries. The glorious mysteries of the Rosary were in focus. Our Lady appeared as Our Lady of Mount Carmel. What relation is there between Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Our Lady of Fatima, and the glorious mysteries? That's very important for us to understand. Because Our Lady doesn't do anything just like that. She has profound reasons for everything that she does. So to link Our Lady of Mount Carmel with the glorious mysteries means that there's something very special in the glorious mysteries that is linked to the triumph of Our Lady in Fatima. And both of these things are linked to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Our Lady of Mount Carmel is the most ancient devotion of Our Lady that exists started long before Our Lady existed because God from all eternity planned that His Son would come to us but His Son would come to us from a virgin a virgin who would be His mother and from all eternity He loved that very special lady who would be His mother and who would be His triumph so therefore, centuries before he was born, he already inspired the devotion to her on that famous mountain called Mount Carmel. That's where the, the whole story starts. The great prophet, Saint Elijah, who on Mount Carmel prayed, according to a very venerable tradition, at a point when Israel was in great trial, when most people in Israel were abandoning the true religion were turning to Baals. That was a terrible point in the history of Israel. And there was one prophet who was faithful, Elijah. Saint Elijah went up to Mount Carmel and prayed and prayed and prayed because Israel was in the midst of a great drought, which was a symbol of the spiritual drought. There was no rain, there were no graces. And he prayed to end that situation and he saw a little cloud a little cloud that prefigured a great shower because from that little cloud there was a torrent of rain a torrent of graces that was symbolized by this little cloud which in turn symbolized Our Lady Our Lady was the little cloud that would come over the earth dry, arid, and fill the earth with the rain of graces. She would give us the author of grace, our Lord. And therefore, a very venerable tradition, a bimillionaire tradition in the church, venerates Our Lady as Our Lady of Mount Carmel, because this tradition says to us that from Saint Elijah and then his disciples, they started a long series of prophets who lived on Mount Carmel and prayed for the salvation of Israel. This order had devotion to Our Lady even before she was born and attracted graces from God so that her coming to earth would be as soon as possible. And with her, the author of grace, her son, our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the start of the devotion to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. A terrible crisis everything seems to be finished. Confidence and more confidence. Confidence in spite of all adversities. 
which is finally rewarded. Because when God finally attends, He gives us much more than what we ask for. Those faithful sons of St. Elijah, who during centuries were persecuted, forgotten, despised, but faithful in spite of everything else, sustained by God with special graces, in spite of their, act, their apparent uh, abandonment, when they were rewarded, when their prayers were answered, our Lord gave us His own mother, the Virgin of Virgins, Our Lady, much more than any of those sons of Saint Elijah could have thought of. That's the start of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Tomorrow, we'll continue understanding better this devotion that has a great link with us today. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Till tomorrow, Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.